Hi folks, happy new year! Happy new year, happy new year, happy new year! The year I was trying to, I like to um, shower right before the new year, that's my new year thing that I do. But they said to eat something green and chocolate. Anyway, I, uh, it, New Year's met me in the shower. <laughs> so I was trying to hurry up. Oh, uh, I put mm, grapes, green grapes, green grapes. First of all, thank you, God. I made it to the New Year. I didn't die. I might do it. You didn't kill me. Not, not because of lack of trying. <laughs> I am thankful to God. How are you guys? How was your new year? Happy new year! Happy new year! Happy 2023! Oh my gosh. I, 2022 was great. But we're good. Um, it's time to move on to a new year. Oh. You won't believe it, guys. I went to the store. A friend of mine at work said, it's good to, um, sorry, I just showered. I'm almost greased up. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> I'm all shiny, huh? Of course, it's the African shea butter. <laughs> I call it Donny. <laughs> Donny. That's the real. That's not cocoa butter. Shea butter. Donny. You're from Africa, the motherland. That's how I'm all glory. <laughs> I'm all <girl> glitter. <laughs> anyway, so I'm supposed to be eating. So I'm thankful to God for the one. For 2022. Well, it was a wonderful year. A lot happened. A lot of breakthroughs. I found out that this whole poison situation and Havana syndrome situation there's more to it than meets the eyes people that are in higher places know about this thing but fail to do something about it only God knows who cares right this year is a new year and we're thankful I'm still here I didn't die because here Just say I eat something green for prosperity and money. <laughs> I was supposed to have a cabbage, um, green grapes, and chocolate. Yeah, you're okay. Trouble on. If anybody knows about trouble on, it's okay. Uh, so, I was trying so hard to show up real quick so I can catch all this. Right, 12, exactly 12 o'clock, but I'm glad they met me. Take a shower. That's my only New Year's Day I do. Around midnight, I take a shower. Why New Year's changes? Like getting rid of all the old, coming to the new. So I'm glad it, I did it again this year. That's my New Year's thing that I do. That's just me. Midnight, I take a shower. First of all, I cook for my ancestors. I made their favorite dishes. One is like a stew, or you guys will call them like a stew, yeah. And the other one is greens, something green, potato greens, we call them. So I made also with rice, put it down with water, put it by my bedside. Or where I sleep. Or water. I talk to them. You thank them for all what they've done for you throughout the year. So being there for me, especially this 2022, as you guys already know, a lot went on. What about the lighting? I'm sure I've got a good lighting here, but it's not. Mm. Anyway. I'll just keep moving around. I'm at the same time, meaning. <laughs> I'm thanking them for everything they've done for you throughout the year, for being there for you. 
and then um for them to guide and protect you in the upcoming year whatever your heart desire you let them know they are like a bridge between us and god you know we know christians as christians also know that christ is the bridge between us and god but we also believe in ancestral prayers in africa so we believe our ancestors are always with us sorry guys <laughs> After eat and talk, I'm sorry. Our ancestors are always with us. Always. They might be gone, but the spirits are always around us. Protecting us. Guiding us. Hmm. Trouble. Um, yum. I thought I had two. I'm going to pick my second one. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Anyway. Hmm. You can tell I'm licking my hands. Mm. <laughs> so, yum. Trouble. Um. Anyway, so um, put the food down so you'll stay on there all night the next morning. So um, ancestors will come and eat. I know it's tradition and it's just ancestral stuff. For people that believe in ancestral um, prayers, uh, you know, at his, uh, Hispanic uh, culture is another one that believe in that. I think Asian culture too. Who always bring our ancestors in everything we do. I'm pretty sure there are other cultures out there that I don't know of. But those are the two I'm familiar with. Who always, and I think the Indian culture too. It's in there. They bring their ancestors into everything they do. So anyway, I, as soon as I got her fork today, I came. I went straight to the kitchen. Because it has to be fresh food. Made those two dishes. Cooked fresh rice. Put it in a, in a bowl, nice bowl for them. And water next to it, just like you would when you set a table for your ancestors to come and eat. You can even put spoon, fork, knife, you know, just like they would when they're alive. You cook their favorite meal, excuse me. And um, and then uh, then I went, took a shower. <laughs> See, I didn't want to do anything. I just kind of threw, I just literally just left my head away. <laughs> just finished taking a shower. And threw something on it, ran out here. I didn't believe it was 12. By the time I looked at the time, it was 12 or 3. I was like, oh no. But that was good because I was taking a shower in the new year, into the new year. So, happy new year, everybody. So, those are the things I do for new year. Uh, I like to know what you guys do for new year's eve. You know, that's what I do. You have to put it the eve off so and talk to it. I spent like, I don't know, just bend over and just talk, you know, thank them first. And then you just say whatever is in your heart and whatever your heart desires for the next, the upcoming year. You let them, you ask them. And because of our faith, because we believe in that, it happens. Now, me particularly. You know, because uh, a lot of things that I've asked them as a bridge between us and God I've gotten, you know, anyway, you can see on too. Remember when it was coming down, it was dropping. All of a sudden, I remember, I think I, I even said in the video, all of a sudden I noticed it going back off again. <laughs> they, can't, they can't tell what, I to do, to, what to do. Oh my God, what to do with this too? They, wanna, <laughs> they wanted to keep going up. The moment I said, it's coming down. Oops, they send it back up. But uh, who cares? It's just a tooth. <laughs> Eventually, it will do whatever it wants to do. But anyway. So, and then now uh, I ate this chocolate. My friend told me this at work today. He said it was supposed to be cabbage. I think some of you have heard of it. Cabbage. Um, I'm listening to my African music. I've been listening to African music all night. As I was cooking on YouTube. Cabbage. Uh, grapes, green grapes, cabbage, green gra cabbage. I couldn't, all the cabbage ran out from Amazon Fresh. I couldn't get any. I went to uh, Ralph's. I couldn't get any. They, were, they had the red cabbage, but not the green cabbage. So I just decided to forget it. I get the, I get a leafy green veg, leafy green um, lettuce. So I got that. That's what you saw me eating. Just the regular lettuce and uh, the grapes and then the chocolate. 
And she said, eat that for, uh, it will give you, um, for money. <laughs> Wealth. I don't know how that would You know, oh, I can't do it. I does want to have some money, right? <laughs> but the thing is, because, you know, because let's face it, like this, like last year, I spent a lot of money on treatments. You know, as you guys know, I was going for those weekly treatments. They were out of pocket. Everything was out of pocket, 100% out of pocket. That's why I'm working so hard because I have to, you know, I have to pay my bills at the same time, my regular bills. I have to pay my rent. I don't want to be kicked out. Anyway, so uh, lots and lots of money went went into a doctor visits. You know, those co-pays ain't no joke. And then co-insurance, they call them. I had no idea what that was, but co-insurance is different from co-pays, guys. Co-insurance, co-pays are the ones you pay when you're at the visit. You have to pay it. They won't let you leave without paying it. Co-insurance is after they submit the claims to your insurance and uh, whatever part the insurance doesn't pay, you have to pay. <laughs> so you see, there's always a trick. I'm telling you, all this wasn't around a few years ago. It was just, you go to a doctor, a doctor visit, you pay your copay, and that was it. Not anymore. Anyway, but um, so all of that adds up, you know. And then also, uh, what else? So what else did I do today? After work, I did that. I uh, took a shower. During It's very important to me. This shower is very important to me. Taking a shower right at midnight. No, I actually start before midnight. And then I shower until the year goes round. So the year, so as the year is turning, I'm cleansing from head to toe. Washing my hair from head to toe. Just getting rid of all the old junk. And just starting fresh. Yeah. This is going to be a beautiful year, guys. The year ended perfect. Perfect. I'm telling you. Just the way God wanted to end. Perfect. I couldn't be more happier this year. The last day of the year, the 31st, yesterday, I got such clarity that all this stuff that's going on, the people, the very people that are supposed to be protecting us in this country, the very people, their hands are in this stuff. They know all about it. Either they, they themselves, they just choose to look the other way, or they themselves are the one doing it. But it's okay. Who cares? One thing I love about this country, I love America. I love this country for one of one reason. Nothing stays hidden forever i don't care how long it takes it comes out in the open i don't care how long it takes nothing stays secret in life life in general anything that's evil and mean and bad never stays hidden have you noticed that just look around the news about you know who i don't want to name names anything that is <laughs> it comes out in the open i'm telling you i don't care how you hide it it will come out so eventually, it will come out. Whoever is behind all this whole Havana syndrome and all this poisoning and all this stuff, it will come out. Trust me. You know, one thing about life, when people are dying, death and dying, it brings the worst or the best out of, of us. Most people, when we're dying, or as a human race, will all of a sudden get develop a conscience. They themselves are the ones that are going to turn themselves over. How many times have you seen people, even like from gangs, turn against each other or go um, snitch, they call it, in the gang world? When people are dying, all of a sudden they, they want to go to hell. They, they believe in God. They want to go to the right place. So guess what? They start talking. We call it in my language, Nali. It, I think that's what we call it. Um, Gali. No, Gali. Bagali. That's how we call it in Mende. Bagali. Bagali. It means you talk. You're talking. Right before you die, you want to talk. You want to confess everything. Cleanse your soul. So when you die, you can go to your to your God. All of a sudden, you develop a, develop a conscience. 
So I'm telling you guys, it's their own, <laughs> they themselves will be the ones turning on themselves. Trust me. I don't care how long it takes. I told them, I said, I'm here. Put as much poison as you want on me. I went to the doctor on Thursday. He, she said my eyes are getting so bad. So bad. She even had to put, because she's tried every drops, every kind of drop. I showed you guys already. And nothing is helping. It's getting just worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. You know, and she's like, she knows, of course, it's because of the re-exposure and the burning and all that. So all that stuff. So she said, um, she's trying to do something. I don't know what they, what she's trying to do. But um, I was like, whatever, you're the doctor. You know, she said, any, there's anything, even all the drops, the more, it's like I told her, the more eye drops I put, they give me the more they release this whatever is if it burns my eyes like pepper spray or something i don't know if it's pepper spray or tea i guess i don't know what it is but it burns like pepper so but anyway so my eyes get really sunk in really you can see like that look of death when i went to see her that day oh my god it was so bad it's like they were trying to prove a point so it worked out well in my favor you know like i said they themselves are the ones giving themselves away you look at one tooth here, eyeballs there. Hey, I'm as happy as a clown. Doesn't matter if one of the tooth is shorter than the other one, who cares? Doesn't matter if my eyeballs are sunk in like a well, who cares? <laughs> right? I'm so, <laughs> we're, all gonna, we're all gonna get old and die someday, right? <laughs> Whether they're trying to make me go blind, make me, um, <laughs> oh, make me age me. It doesn't matter. We're all gonna get old and die anyway one day. So, what's the point of hasting somebody else's when you don't know when you're coming? <laughs> the other thing they've done is my shoulders. They've been affecting all my joints. I'm telling you, I have no arthritis. My mother is 65. She doesn't even have arthritis anywhere in her body. My dad died at age 82, no arthritis. We don't have that in our family. You know, I know as people age, it does. My dad used to outwalk me, I'm telling you. And uh, <laughs> when, he was, when he came to visit me, I think it was like, it was still at uh, 80, just turned 80 or something like that, or late 70s, or 80, I think, you know. And he could outwalk me, <laughs> I'm telling you. So they started my neck. See right here? They would release stuff in my neck. And my neck would start hurting my shoulder. They release stuff in my shoulder, like almost like in a circle. Like in a circle. Go around all the way under my armpit. So this left shoulder started hurting me. And then um, my knee, my back, my lower back, like the last vertebrae. They will release it there. It's like what they're trying to do. I kind of got the idea what they're trying to do is make everything appear in like a natural causes. So if we, the poison, let's just uh, do, cause that to have all kinds of arthritis, whatever it is. <laughs> so that way it looks like a natural thing. It looks like, an, like arthritis. Let's just try to um, <laughs> loosen her joints. Oh, my hip. I forgot my hip. My ball and socket joints, one of those. You know your hip joints, your where your your uh, thigh goes into your um, your pelvic, the left one. Yet again, I said, "Oh Lord, where will go again?" Anyway, guys, I'm happy as a clown. I'm here. I'm, we made it through 19, 2022. Now it's 2023. We thank God for life. I didn't die. And I thank God I'm still here. Hopefully, I'll be here again next year. God willing, it's up to God. Nobody knows when they're going to die. I'm not one to worry about things like that. I leave it all in God's hands. If God said it's my time to go, hey, gladly. If God says it's not my time to go, for sure, then I know for sure it's not my time to go. That's why I'm still here. Because the amount of stuff they've done to me but at this point, as I sit here recording, there's all kinds of um, 
it, it almost feels like rain. It feels like raindrops. Some of them I feel like raindrops when they're dropping on my skin. Some feels like uh, mists, just like when you sprinkle um, a breeze or something. Very misty or like a sprinkler. Just like fine, and some are fine mist. Yeah, they all do different things. The fine mist, some of them will just keep me awake all night. Just, but all of them burn my skin. And some of them will put me, knock me out. Knock me out completely. Now, it's not like, like I said, it's like having surgery. Like when you go for uh, surgery, how they put you under, and you're boom, you're gone. You don't even know what, what hit you. But anyway, it doesn't even matter. Bottom line remains is, it's the new year! I wish I had one of those. Poo, poo, poo. <laughs> Excuse me, one of those. Those that, uh, not those little balloons that you blow when it comes out. <laughs> when we were kids, we used to play with those. I wish I had one of those. But anyway, it was fun. I gotta go to bed now because I gotta work tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's today. <laughs> gotta go to work in a few hours, I should say. Well, it's been fun. It was a nice year. I'm thankful to God for everything and for you guys. I thank you for all of you guys that supported me throughout this, you know, and believed in me and stood by me throughout the year. It wasn't easy, you know, because I just started doing the whole this whole uh, WhatsApp thing. As time goes on, I'll improve on it more and more. And, um, you know, better things are coming. And this year, I have good, strong faith that better things are coming this year. You know, breakthroughs are coming this year. In Jesus' name, breakthroughs are coming this year. God is going to play miracles this year. I know it is. I just feel it in my bones. You know, when you feel something good is happening, or it's coming, you know, sometimes you have that feeling. That's how I feel like, guys. And I thank you for being with me throughout this journey and continue to stick by me. We'll see this. We'll see. We'll go through this. We'll see this through. God will see us through, you know. I have no fear, none at all. <laughs> you guys know me. Those that know me very well know me. Oh, Lord, I can't wait for my lady to come back. And I'll call her tomorrow and see. I don't think she's back from her vacation yet. My eyebrows, oh, they are like dying to be done. The mustache grew back after I plucked it the last time. Be a fellow beard coming up. Oh, oh how can I say? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. Who cares? It's not like I'm out there trying to find me a man or all that crap. Too old for all that shit right now. You know, I'm past that. You know, been there, done that. Just living life now and happy happy oh god i'm telling you last year as hard as it was you know as tough as it was with everything i went through oh i went through hell and back <laughs> with the pain and all the suffering and everything but i won't you won't believe it guys it was the ha one of the happiest year of my life i'm telling you isn't that guy isn't it amazing even though it was one of the toughest as far as all the physical and emotional stuff, stress and all that pain and suffering. Oh boy, did I go through pain and suffering. Still going through pain and suffering. From head, literally from head to toe. Literally. From head to toe. With the sound right now as I speak the sound. And this ear is so loud. It's as if they want to, it's like they want to start fireworks in my ear. Uh, so, so if they started a firewood <laughs> because it's the new year. Happy New Year, fireworks in the air. <laughs> Maybe they said, oh, let's escalate. <laughs> you know, they all escalate every time they escalate. Yeah. Every Oh, by the way, this week, I should say last week now, I sent two emails to the FBI agents with my uh, photos of me when I got attacked. One was on. Was it Wednesday or Tuesday? Tuesday, I think. And then the other one was on, um, 
I think Friday, I sent two, anyway, I sent two emails, you know, like a day apart or so from each other uh, to the uh, FBI agent with my picture. I took a picture of my face and I sent it. And I always, when I send those pictures, I always add my family and friends and the news media also. And um, just so I add KTLA, CNN, CNBC, and CBS. Just so, you know, it's out there. Because, um, and I write, I said, I just got attacked. And I say, like, maybe a few minutes ago or whatever, less than an hour ago. And I tell them, saying, this is what it left me with. Left me with. This is how I look. And I'll send it. And I won't, I'll be completely different than what I look right now. And I send it to, to the FBI agents. And I said, this is for your records only. What else am I going to say? Yeah. And you're ready to do something about it. Do something about it. But it's for your record. Keep it for your records. <laughs> anyway, guys. You know, I feel breakthrough coming this year. I feel great things happening this year. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe I can find me a husband this year. Oh, Alisa. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know. The world husband's like, ah! when I hear that. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. I'm just so happy right <laughs> the, way, the way I am right now. It's like, I, you know, I date. Don't get me wrong, I date. I do date now. But it's like, when you see that word husband comes around, it just. For you single ladies out there that have been there, done that, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like when you're happy with your life the way it is. It's like, why change it, right? <laughs> exactly. That's what I said. Why change it? I'm so happy. It's like, you know, when you, you guys know, I mean, no matter what, it's good to have a husband. Oh, they just must have It's good to have a husband and stuff. Good, you know, it's the thing. I'm basically looking for myself. The day I find a man that's exactly like me, or you know, or my, like my dad, I want a man that like my dad, that mirrors me or mirrors my dad. Then that's the day I'll get married. That's the man I'll marry. Seriously, I want a man that's exactly like my dad's character. That's what I mean, like my dad. I mean, my I love my dad to pieces. He was my oh, everything on this earth. He was like, he was my best friend. He was, he worked very, my dad and I were like two pieces. Of, anybody that knows me knows me for my father anyway. So, um, you know, find me a man that mirrors my father or mirrors me because I'm a clone of my dad. And in every sense of the word, not only in looks, but also in um, character, then that's the deal. That's the man I'll get married to. Until then, <laughs> I'm enjoying my single life. It's fun, guys. I love it. Oh, man. All right. Well, I'll see you guys. Um, I got to go to bed now for real so I can get up. We'll talk, um, we'll talk more as the week goes by. Okay. All right. Maybe at the farmer's market. <laughs> I, think, I think they have farmer's market this week. Yeah, because last week was of Christmas. We didn't have any. I think we do. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. I have new things that are coming. Yeah, hopefully they'll be. I don't know when. I'm hoping in, a, in less than a month or so. Hopefully they'll be here. It's January, I'm hoping. All right. All right, guys. I love you. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. We made it to 2020. I'm tired now. I've been standing on my feet. I've been working all day since this morning. Then came home, stood on my feet all, all night cooking. So I, I'm exhausted. And I'm ready for bed. All right. I love you. Mwah. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for your prayers and support, okay? Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.